Join our hosts as they check out the Dusky 33T, a center console offshore fishing platform focused on the hardcore angler. The Dusky 33T has an overall length of 33 feet, a beam of 10 feet 10 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 900. Designed for long runs in the deep blue, she has a draft of 18 inches, a 20 to 35 degree variable dead rise, a weight of 6,700 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 250 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Dusky 33T, and I actually have a, a true story. My neighbor is in the boat market, and he said, Lori, I pulled up Dusky on Boat Trader. He can't find not one used Dusky. And I said, really? It goes to show you that they're in this market, and they're keeping their boats. Well, there's a good reason for that, Lori. I mean, these are popular boats, and when people get a boat they really like, they don't want to get rid of it. And, you know, one of the things that makes Dusky special is the fact that they're you know, built for you. You go to Dusky and you order a boat and they're going to build it for you and they're customizable. Now this boat, we've been on a 33 before, but this is the 33 tournament. It's open in the front and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing fishes today. The reason why these hulls are so popular, Dusky never felt the need to fix what wasn't broken. You understand what I'm saying? That's why people keep their boat. There's a long adage among boat buyers. The real money starts when you have to start fixing everything, not on a Dusky. Everything you need, the boat is built, laid out just like it should be, just the way you wanted it at the factory. Dusky boats have become an iconic name in the center console world, and the fact that they're one of the true originals in the industry and are as busy as ever is a testament to the loyalty Dusky owners show to the name. Since the brand is such a customizable platform that allows each boat to begin as a bare hull and build outward from there based on the customer's needs, we're always happy to see these boats in different layouts. The 33 tournament we ran today was a model built specifically for legendary Miami guide Bouncer Smith. So naturally, it was a very fishing specific version, which for me as a fishing guide myself also worked along the lines of how I might lay one out. One thing the 33 is always going to deliver regardless of how you choose to arrange the top half is that solid authoritative ride. These boats are built to punish waves, not passengers, and they will hold up their end of the bargain in some pretty extreme conditions. My builds boats for the fishermen who are no longer happy with other people's ideas. That's exactly why he has stayed factory direct, building boats one at a time, laying them out to meet the dreams of his customers. Captain Bouncer's 33, for example, had state-of-the-art live well systems with sea chests and high-velocity pumps for each well. In the cockpit below deck aft is a large insulated fish hold with a gulper-type macerator pump-out system. Behind this, an access point into the bilge area, which was plenty roomy for you to perform maintenance. For this model, Dusky started by removing the customary forward seating to create more space to fish around in the bow. We had five people on the boat today, all wanting to fish. Oh, let's not forget about Chowder the dog. We had George at the bow catching snapper. We had Rick in the stern catching kingfish. Sam and I were running back and forth, all fighting fish. The 360 walk around was perfect, and then we were ready to relax. The lounge seating in front of the helm was not just comfortable, but it also acts for a coffin box. Today, we used it for storage, and it was great. It had dividers in there, so we were able to separate everybody's items. I love this because I love to be organized on a boat. Another equally large storage compartment below the deck forward, along with the interior space of the oversized console, were more than enough dry area to handle all of the gear you'd ever need on any given day on the water. Then you also have a tackle storage compartment and an aft cooler seat. Dusky's found a middle ground that leaves the buyer with a boat finished enough to take pride in, but not so finely finished that a sinker dropped on the deck or banging the hull sides leaves you in tears. The net result is a solid, dependable boat priced below the competition that is built to last a lifetime. Building boats is not a job for the Brown family. It is their life. They've been smart enough to keep their boats up on the latest technology while being smart enough to never try and fix something that isn't broke. Well guys, I now know why you don't see any used Duskies on Boat Trader. If I had this boat, I wouldn't want to get rid of it either. Did we not have the best day ever today? You're right, Lori. Today I became a big fan of the 33 tournament layout on this boat. I love the open bow. There's so much room up there. We were bottom fishing today and it was just 
it's the way I like a boat rig. But more importantly, I feel like we wasted a perfectly good flat calm day on this boat. I mean, we needed some weather to really show what this boat's capable of. You're not kidding, Cap. You know what? The Dusky 33T has lots of real estate. There was so much room for us today, and I would love to see her in a big sea. This boat is the queen of a big sea because Dusky learned a long time ago that the most important thing a boat does is perform. It's all about function. It's great to look good, but man, is it great to have one that functions just like a big boat should. The Dusky 33T is all business. She is ready to go fishing.